Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Lady Savage and I am back again with another video. So today, y'all are gonna get a little bit of a different angle. As you can tell, I am my own camera woman, okay? But we are going to do something a little bit different. I am going to walk you guys through the garden and give you guys specific tips and tricks on each one of my babies. And today, we are starting with the watermelon, okay? So now I know you guys saw in the last video how much the watermelon have grown, but y'all are not ready for this. What is that? It's a melon, y'all. It went from a little baby melon to this huge, okay, it's not huge, but we're definitely getting there. Look at this. We're really doing big things. So, this is the watermelon. It's definitely growing like crazy. I actually have three pots full of watermelon and we are going to start with this plant. So the first tip that I wanna give you guys um, on when starting a watermelon, make sure you have enough space. Okay, I was just super excited. I started off with this one crate. I actually put four seeds in this one crate and realized that was not gonna be enough room. So when you're growing your watermelon in a container garden, you wanna make sure you're doing like one seed per container. This container here actually has two seeds. Um, this is one plant here and this is another plant there. Um, but, you wanna make sure you're doing one per container because watermelons grow on vines, as you guys can tell. So it will get out of hand if you have more than one in the container. But this side, it worked perfectly. I had them on opposite sides. So as you can see, one vine is, one vine is going this way. The other vine is going this way, okay? Okay guys, and another tip is you want to make sure you're using very good soil and some kind of nutrients to feed your plants as they grow. Like I said before in previous videos, your plants aren't in ground, they're in containers. So you wanna make sure you're giving them the nutrients they need. Um, also have this that I use as well. So yeah, make sure you're using good supplements and fertilizers to get them growing. You wanna make sure that you're watering your plant correctly. Of course, we're talking about the watermelon, hence water, melon, <laughs> you wanna water them so that they can grow properly. You don't wanna overwater them and then it's just gonna be, you know, it won't be able to be sweet, it won't grow properly or underwater them and then you won't have any growth. So make sure you're watering them. I had a routine going, so I water them in the morning and I water them in the evening. Um, I'm in North Carolina, it's super hot. So I just wanted to make sure I kept my soil nice and moist because especially when they're seeds, like that is the best way for them to grow, when they're nice and moist. So you wanna make sure you are keeping your babies watered. The next tip, I would, I'm pro hand pollinating, okay guys? I ran the test to see how my pollinators would do, my natural pollinators being the bees, the ants, um, different insects that will pollinate your garden, but I didn't have much luck, probably because I'm starting later in the season and I only have this one um, marigold plant here in my garden, so I don't have a lot of um, like attractors. I know that there are some bees here in the morning, but this is a lot for them to do. Um, so I definitely would say hand pollinate and I'm gonna show you guys the difference. So this one here, I actually hand pollinated this one and clearly is doing great. Let me show you one that I let nature run its course and this is what happened. So this one I left to nature and nothing really happened. It dried out as you can tell. It wasn't pollinated correctly. So um, yeah, nothing really came of it, but there's multiple ways. But as you can tell, I went ahead and hand pollinated this one. So this one's coming in. I also hand pollinated 
this one. So this one's coming in. Um, hand pollinate them, getting them pollinated. So that way you can get your fruit and your produce at the end. So just know watermelons, they grow a flower. It's gonna be a male flower and a female flower. I'll insert a clip here. Um, flowers so that way you guys can see them look there's another watermelon um so yeah just know how they grow like i said you want to pollinate them and make sure that you are getting your harvest and y'all the last tip i want to give you is to have fun okay like i was never a green thumb you guys i didn't think this was something i can do but as you can tell we're doing great they're, they're doing great. They're growing like crazy. So I just want you guys to have fun. Of course, take take all the tips that I have. Of course, I'm not a pro, but I'm definitely learning um, throughout this journey. So if you guys have any tips or tricks for me, drop them down in the comment section below. And yeah, go get your seeds. Get to growing. Let's do this, okay? Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you so much for tuning in. See y'all next time.